accused of confining a woman inside a trailer despite her attempts to escape. Thanks for joining us at 6. I'm Dan Spieler. And I'm Fanchon Stinger. They are disturbing allegations. Fox 59's Gabby Gonzalez actually talks to that man in jail today, and she's getting much more information on this case from Kokomo. Gabby? According to investigators, the victim in this case contacted someone she knew and let that person know she was being held against her will for several days. That person then contacted Kokomo police. As the sun rose over this trailer park on the north side of Kokomo, police officers tracked down a tip about a woman in danger. So officers responded and uh, did a little bit of investigating to try to pinpoint where this location was. The name of the suspect was given. That name, Daniel Blackburn, a suspect they learned was staying at this abandoned trailer. The female was inside the residence and said she had been, at, had been detained there for several days and she'd previously tried to get away from him. According to police, the woman tried to flee just yesterday, but Blackburn reportedly dragged her back inside. Officers were seen around the trailer trying to get that woman to safety. The man had barricaded, had conducted some t a small amount of barricade for officers not to be able to apprehend him readily. Eventually, they made their way in and arrested Blackburn. He talked to us from inside the Howard County Jail. You say that you were holding a woman allegedly against her will. What do you have to say about that? I, um, that's insane. It's all over Facebook. We're engaged. Now in handcuffs and facing several charges, including criminal confinement causing bodily injury, Blackburn yeah, says he doesn't know why he ended up here and that he never prevented the woman from leaving. Not stopped her, I mean, other than the fact that when if it's cold out, well, I can see another thing that she might have seen, but it wasn't nothing. There is no truth to any of it, and everybody in the trailer court knows it. And this afternoon, we have learned that the victim in this case was treated and released from the hospital for minor injuries to her face and leg. We'll, of course, keep you updated on what happens in this case. Reporting in Kokomo, I'm Gabby Gonzalez. Back to you. Okay, Gabby, thank you. Talking about our weather tonight, cloudy skies this afternoon, but we got a break from the rain today. However, there could be more on the way for the weekend. Let's find out how much from your weather authority. Brian Wilkes standing by. Hi, Brian. Yeah, it's looking pretty light, but it's also going to be snow. In fact, many of us will see some wet snow falling by this time tomorrow. This is a live look from Daniel's Vineyard over.